if you own an Xbox 360 and like Japanese RPGs, you've probably had your eye on Lost Odyssey. It comes from developer Mistwalker, which is made up of well-known gaming luminaries who worked on the Final Fantasy series, amongst a bunch of other well-known games. If their previous game, Blue Dragon, disappointed you, you'll be glad to know that Lost Odyssey is better. It has a great cast of characters and a good character customization system, and it takes you on a nice, epic quest. Unfortunately, it's also got some pacing issues and some major technical problems. Lost Odyssey doesn't reinvent the wheel, and its main story is pretty standard for the genre. What makes it unique is its fantastic characters. The game's hero is Kaim, an immortal who has lost his memory, and he's joined by several other immortals, as well as some mere mortals. As the game progresses and you chase after the main villain, Kaim unlocks memories, which appear on the screen as text, accompanied by some lovely visuals and music. The stories that come from these memories are terrific, and they flesh out Kaim's character really well, which is a good thing since he doesn't talk much for the first half of the game. But the other characters are pretty cool too, especially Jansen, who is a randy ladies man and spends a good amount of time chasing after the pretty queen Ming. Fine, I'm going to. The gameplay doesn't break any new ground, but it does add some tweaks to the usual turn-based combat. One of the additions is that of aim rings. You can craft rings for your party members to wear and they add bonuses to their standard attacks. For the bonus to work, you pull the right trigger while the character attacks to squeeze the aim circle into your enemy, and then you release it when it shrinks to the right size. Another small but nice change is how immortals learn spells. For an immortal to learn a spell, you have to link him to one of the mortal's spells, and then they need to fight together for it to be added to the immortal's repertoire. It's a subtle change, but it means you need to make some interesting decisions over the course of the game as you develop your immortals. Outside of combat, Lost Odyssey suffers a bit. You'll come across boring fetch quests, some bland puzzle sequences, and other useless tasks. Technical problems also break up the pace too much. The game is built around the Unreal 3 engine and is really attractive, with lots of nice scenery and some terrific enemy design. But for whatever reason, the frame rate stutters a lot, even during cutscenes and battle intros. You'll also encounter frequent loading times, which can take anywhere from 5 seconds when going into battle up to close to a minute when entering or leaving a cutscene. These problems aren't game breakers in a turn-based RPG, but they often keep you from getting immersed because they get in the way so much. Hey! You can't have them! What's with you, kid? Ah! Out of my way! Ah! Cook! Are you okay? The biggest reason to play Lost Odyssey is to follow the quest of a great cast of characters. Kaim and his cohorts are memorable and you'll enjoy getting to know them. Outside of the story, the game doesn't tread any new ground, but it's solid enough to please fans of Japanese role-playing games. If you're a patient Xbox 360 owner looking for a great story with tried-and-true mechanics, Lost Odyssey will fit the bill nicely. 